What's going on? Alex here and today I'm going to take you through how I managed to save 600 euro on this brand new M1 MacBook Pro. Okay, first things first, major disclaimer, I'm just showing you how I did it. I am neither suggesting nor recommending that you do the same. This is all up to you. Take from this what you want. This is just my experience. So yeah, disclaimer over. Okay, to be completely upfront and not waste any of your time, the way I did it was simply going through Apple's education store. I live in Ireland, so I went apple.ie, scroll down to the bottom, and you just click on the education store, and then you're in. Now, if you're a student, you're probably thinking, obviously, Alex, but technically, I'm not a student. I left college four years ago. I'm doing a couple of online courses, but for the most part, I'm not a student, but I still managed to get the discount, so I'm gonna show you how. But first, let me break down how I actually saved 600 euro. So I'm gonna be looking at the laptop because I have kind of notes here because there's a few numbers and stuff that I wanna reference. But if I were to buy this exact model, this is the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Along with all the apps that I got, it would cost 2,368 euro and 99 cent. Now, I only spent, I only spent, 1,769 euro and two cent. So that's 599 euro saved. So ran that up to 600 euro saved, which is crazy, I know. Full disclosure, the reason that I saved so much is because when I was buying this laptop, I actually needed to get the Final Cut Pro app, which costs 329 euro on the Irish site. Previously, I was using the free trial that you can get, which is unreal you get 90 days free um final cut pro which is crazy for a free trial but yeah my three months had ran out so i needed to buy final cut pro so because i bought this laptop through the education site you can't actually get final cut pro on its own you have to buy the apple pro apps bundle and there are five of them so you get final cut pro 10 logic pro 10 compressor motion and main stage now if I wasn't getting this bundle, I definitely wouldn't get those four, extra four apps, but because they all came together, I had to buy them all. Now, if you were to buy those individually, they would come to a total of 689 euro, around 690 euro. I paid 216 euro. So that's where the major saving was. But yeah, that's incredible still. 216 euro for 600 euro worth of uh, apps is amazing. And they're one-time purchases, you never have to buy Final Cut Pro again. Okay, so you might be asking, how did I avail of this deal, seeing as I'm not a student? Well, the way I did it was I simply went on to apple.ie, scrolled down to the education store, which is down at the bottom footer, configured my laptop, added it to the basket, and checked out just like any other purchase. It was as easy as that. There was nothing that asked me for a student ID, student email. I didn't have to log into uni days. It was just as if I logged into an Apple site that had a random sale on. Also, I, need to, I wanted to add in that this is a fantastic option for somebody who is happy with the machine they have. They just want to buy the Pro apps. You can actually buy them separately for 229 euro. And now I'm not 100% because I obviously bought them with the laptop and they became preloaded on it. But if you're to buy the Pro apps on their own, you get an email a couple of days later with five different codes. So technically, if you didn't want to use, say, Logic Pro and you knew someone that did, you could give them the code in exchange for some money, but I didn't tell you that. And definitely don't go setting up a business or a side hustle buying the cheap Pro apps bundle and selling these codes because you'll definitely get caught. But if you buy it once and you don't need one of the apps, I see no reason why you couldn't maybe give it to someone in exchange for some money. That's all I'm saying. All right, so why is this a thing on Apple's website? Well, my two cents is that it's not that big a deal to Apple. They don't care. I still spent 1,800 euro on their website, so they're the real winners. And I actually ended up spending more than I probably would have because I actually upgraded the RAM. And yeah, I spent a lot of money on their website, so it's not exactly like I robbed them. Anyway, I thought that might be interesting for someone who's looking to upgrade their laptop. Again, this is what I did. I'm not recommending you do it or suggesting you do it. I'm just sharing my experience. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing. And thanks a mil for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.